Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Two Point Hospital, shall we? Well, I want to say uh, thank you so much to Jen for awesome comments to help me get things oriented here. And look at this, we've collected some kudosh from Career Mode, and well, even more. So we're going to be getting some really nice machines unlocked for our hospital. As we're up to 730 kudosh, and let's continue our work at the Lower Bullocks Hospital and try to get three stars. All right, so here we are. We have a health inspector traveling around. Uh, we need to, in order to get to three stars, we're going to need um, to get up to Hospital level 10, cure 20 patients, have a cure rate of 70%, and boost up the attractiveness of the hospital itself. So, sure, we can do that. Let's unpause it. Okay. Well, the fun thing about doing something like boosting up attractiveness is we can just buy cool items to do that. All right, so, um, first of all, actually, a news agent, I kind of want this, so I could put a news agent, like, right here, I think, and we, um, I think it makes money, but we need somebody to work it, it gives you happiness, too, I don't know if it has any kind of, like, actual attractiveness, what is this letter? Letter uh, Pharmacy emergency. There's been an outbreak of pharmacy-related illnesses after a software update for B Bungle's smart plasters led to multiple cases of food or blood poisoning. Oh, God. A group are looking for treatment. We'll be rewarded if we treat this group of patients. Should we have them sent here? Yes, they have ver verbal diarrhea. Absolutely. So we need to treat them in the pharmacy. We have two of those, and we have 90 days, and we get all these prizes. So let's do it. So before we do that, let me see. We have one pharmacy over here that is currently being uh, worked by Nurse Schnecken, and this dude with uh, like a beach tropical shirt, McQuibble is getting some verbal diarrhea cured as we speak. And then we have another pharmacy that's being worked by senior nurse Massapups. And this means that we have plenty of opportunities to cure these people. So I'm glad we took that. And I do want to check the staff to just make sure that we have enough assistance to work the newsstand. So reception, on break, on break. Yeah, we have Nick Man. JR and Manto, so I think we have enough. I think somebody will go work this immediately and get us in there. Okay. So while we're doing that, let's look at some items again and just see which of these items actually promote, like, uh, that look good, you know, are going to increase the attractiveness of the hospital. Um, okay, here's a rose bush. Like, we could get that. All right, let me pause and just take a look at this before I go. Uh, sunflower yucca doesn't need much watering and it increases attractiveness it's a cactus um i am palm tree display skeleton um okay fun and i guess you put this in a place where people are getting trained or something or you put this anywhere all right, well, let's obviously get this. And then let's start building this around. So we have some plants, but... I mean, we could definitely... Look look at this. Look how bad this part of the hospital is. I've done nothing over here. It's, it's quite shameful. There we go. That's beautiful. 
let's boost this up. You can see, um, I, I just dropped some yukas around and is this person throwing up into the trash can? Like, what is this person doing holding on to the can like that? That can't be good. All right, that looks good. Attractiveness has only gone up to 57, though, as I add these plants. So we have a long way to go. But I'll put as many of these in. I don't care. You think I can't put yukas everywhere? Because I can. Oh, you can put it on the half space. Cool. Yeah, there's nothing going on in my ward. There's nothing attract. There's nothing good for these people to look at. It's actually a a complete failure of uh, attractiveness right in front of the window. You will not look out the window. You will see the yucca instead. Okay. That looks good. We can put some rugs in there to not block things. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. This is prime. This is prime real estate. You come into my hospital, you're getting yuccas. I don't know who you think you are, like, that you wouldn't get yuccas. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. Now we're talking. Oh, God, yeah. Not reachable. How could that be? This whole hallway is yucca. We've already got to 61% attractiveness just with these yuccas. I'll do more. All right, cool. Somebody's working it. I mean, and this is completely without doing this hospital, which is just a disgrace to the yucca everywhere. Oh, yeah. We're almost there. Yucca. Yuka. Hi. Are you familiar with the Yuka plant? You're about to be. For the rest of your days. Uh-huh. We got it. So we got the attractiveness just by doing that. But I want something else to put on the floor, not just a sonic rug. But these rugs are really expensive. They're like 500 kudosh. I don't want to spend all of my kudosh on uh, filter. Yeah, filter for um, decorative. And then... Yeah, yeah, here we go. Uh, the faux rug is really expensive. Moose head is hilarious. Lunar Lanterns. Um, these increase the hospital attractiveness and the room prestige somehow. How about that? Eye test poster. Yeah, of course. It's five for that. Yeah, give me that. Rorschach poster. Oh, God, yes. Food pyramid. Oh, yeah. Now we're getting in there. Now we're getting some really nice stuff. Seasonal paintings, beach painting, dog painting. Oh, hilarious. Now I need stuff to put on the, gr oh, here we go, rug. Oh man, this burger rug is so expensive. God, these rugs are costly. Ooh, Ivy, yeah, sweet. All right, so this is, yeah, here we go. This uh, gr grid view is better for seeing this stuff. Okay, perfect. So unfortunately, the only piece of rug that I've got is this. Is this Sonic rug. But, I mean, it could be worse. I thought I could rotate this. You can't? See, the R, I thought, rotated, but now it's, t it's like, flexing the, the, the pitch. Oh, here we go. It's Z. Okay, perfect. I just want it to be rotated toward me. Um, that's probably dumb, given that you can just change everything, but... Oh, yeah. 
you come in, you wipe your dirty feet on Sonic. That just has to happen. And if you think you're getting away without wiping your feet on Sonic, you're not coming to this hospital. You're not welcome in this hospital is what I should say. Now I'm going to get better rugs once I get more kudosh. We're going to get burgers, all kinds of good stuff. Uh, let's see, can I... Yeah, this is perfect. There you go. Oh, I can't put it there, huh? Invalid item. Oh, you can't have a sonic rug in the therapy room. They're like, it doesn't help me. All right, fine. When you come in, you will see Sonic. Just understand that. If you don't get that, you've come to the wrong hospital. Can't go in the ward. I guess it's not clean. Before you exercise, take a look at Sonic. We actually have got our attractiveness way up. Yeah... This is just kind of how we do things around here. This is the other hospital that we built. We don't even use this, but you better believe that Sonic's going to be over there. All right, great. I'm going to unpause it. Now, see where I can put this ivy, because, God, this stuff looks great. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh, did somebody die? I think maybe. Oh man, that ivy is killer. We can upgrade the extractor pan to make it more effective. If you select the item and choose to upgrade it, oh, okay, there's the deluxe lux. Now that's already good. Where's my extractor pan over here? Um, yeah, upgrade it. Do it. I believe Jem was telling me that they can actually work while it's being upgraded, so that's fine. Oh yeah, that guy died. He died right on the Sonic rug. I think that's pretty much serendipitous right there. The man died on the rug that we just built. 30 years of Sonic. He couldn't take it. Heart gave out. All right. Uh, well, we're curing patients. That's happening. But as far as getting the hospital level up, I'm not too sure about that. I'm kind of looking around just to make sure that there's no, like, there's no problem with the queue. And I don't see an issue anywhere where, like, people are overly having to wait for services. So that's good. Okay. Uh, health inspector is still here, unfortunately. I'm just going to go up to fast speed for a bit. We might have too many janitors. Now, this is just where you're wrong. We can't have too many janitors. Okay, and here it is. Look at this. This is at 7. So this room right here, which is my GP office, has a queue of 7. Now, I have a GP here, right? So let me see what's going on with my staff. So Crab is uh, on break and Thurazes is on break, which is understandable, right? But that means we don't have a free dock for... GP work. Probably time to hire another doctor then. Let's hire this one because they have good psychiatry. And that means that uh, they can work back up in psychiatry and um, they can help out in a GP office. So that's great. Also, let me go to my um, overview screen and go to my policies and just make sure um, that, 
yeah, we do have fast track treatment decision. So that's good. I guess the best solution would be to just build another GP office, right? Why not? It's easy enough. Okay. So Jen gave me this tip. I can just click on the door to select the room, right? And I'm just going to copy the whole room and then drop a new one over here. Now the issue is with the door. But we can simply rotate the room. Actually, we could just yeah, we'll just put it like this. And it's not ready yet because the door can't be opened. Oh, because you can't put a door there. Right. Here's what I'm actually going to do. I'm going to uh, add to the room and I'm just going to put all this in here. I'm gonna, um, and then I'm going to select this door and I'm going to put it over here. It's just a big GP office, right? And then what we'll do is um, I'm going to put this on the wall and throw this over here by the door. This yucca plant goes in the corner. Um, this other potted plant goes uh, over here. And this plant we can just kind of set in there. And we're good. Uh, no, what are the invalid items? Okay, apparently I didn't. Anyway, they're gone. So this is a GP office. And hopefully it's good to go. We're going to go to items, and we're going to get some really nice benches for people outside. But then... While they're waiting, they probably want to look at yucca plants. Or, you know, maybe they want to consult these leaflets. That could be fun. There's also a fire extinguisher right there. Okay. And I don't know if I have any trash cans in this building, to be honest with you. It's kind of a, an issue. We'll put that over there. All right. So, let me see. Um, we got a special report. We cured five out of five patients with the verbal diarrhea. And we got 15 rep a bunch of kudosh and 20 grand so that's perfect oh he wanted us to cure 20 patients yeah we didn't make it we just we couldn't get the timeline right okay all right the queue is down there this machine is being fixed career goal upgrade five machines so we got another career goal which is just tremendous all right Did you know if hygiene levels are low, the health of the patients will deteriorate faster? Keep the hospital as clean as possible. Make sure toilets have sinks and place hand sanitizer dispensers. Okay, let me check that. Let's look at some of these maps. Let's look at the hygiene situation. Hygiene seems... I mean, I don't know. Sometimes it's hard to tell. It's like it's green, right? Would it be red if it was not okay? Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. Like, this toilet is not clean, for example. Not looking too great. It'll get clean, I guess. But everything else is pretty clean. Maybe we need another... We probably need a bathroom in this other hospital. So, I'm going to go to this room right here, the toilets. And, uh, We're going to actually call this Sweet Relief. I didn't know you could name the bathrooms, but that's just pretty awesome. And we're going to copy it. And we can drop Sweet Relief. Uh, over here. Actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move this door. So this is cardiology. I'm just going to quickly edit this room and I'm gonna just move this door um, over there so that I can put the sweet relief over here. 
copy it. Flip it. Dip it. Sell the items that are invalid. Terrific. All right, great. What is this? Staff promotion. Nurse Schnecken is ready for promotion from junior nurse to nurse. How about that? Promotion from junior nurse to nurse will provide another training slot and all this good stuff. All right, let's boost this salary because we have money. It's not a concern until they're happy and we promote. So at this point, um, our cure rate is 90%. We just need to cure two more. We need to cure two more for this. And our hospital level is actually nine. We just need to get it to 10. So we can do that, I think. And what is this? Inspection report. Um, one of our country's better medical destinations. Um, okay, so we impressed the VIP with a nice hospital. And uh, we got 5,000, 8 rep, and 10 kudos. So great. So that worked. So they like the hospital. Everything's going well in that. And we've completed all of these objectives except for leveling up the hospital itself. So I think the easiest way to level up the hospital is to build rooms, but I'm not sure about that. So when I look at our hospital, it's just kind of like, what rooms do we need? Maybe we need another one of these. So this is general diagnosis, we'll copy it. Um, and we're gonna put this one here. Oh, darn. You know what I'll do? I'll just put it here. Um, but I'll move this door. I'm going to re redo this room. Edit. Alright, so I'm going to move your desk. So it's over here, but we have to rotate it around like this. And we can move your rug like that. And then this door could go there. Okay, fantastic. And then... We just say good, and then we can move um, this bench to over here, and move this over here, and I'll pick this up and, you know, just put it over here for now. And then what we can do is now I'm going to copy this room like we were talking about before, and we're going to throw it over here, and we have plenty of room for it just like this, but I'll actually rotate it so it's kind of like this. Okay, perfect. And um, now we have a little space to play with, so I'm going to add these to it like that. And I'm going to move that over there, move this over here, um, move this there, this thing, this fire extinguisher, we don't need two in there, so we can just kind of put it over there, and we're going to say yes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on this room, and we're going to rename this um, vague diagnosis. So there's a general diagnosis, and then there's like vague diagnosis, which is, you know, not quite as good. Now we're going to go to items, and I'm going to go to filter decorative and I'm going to put like some fun stuff in here. We're going to have a roar shark. There's going to be an eyeball test. There's going to be a food pyramid, like all of the cool stuff that you would expect in a room of this nature. But then there's also going to be some weird stuff like like a sonic ring and then people are going to be like, "Well, why why in God's name would that be in there?" Oh, maybe you can't put that in there actually. It looks like you can't. But we can put it there. All right, perfect. All right, I'm going to unpause it, and we're going to close this. And uh, we're halfway up. It's based on the... the it's a me measure of the overall size of your hospital based on the rooms and staff. Having a higher hospital level means that you will attract more patients and applicants. So we really just want more rooms, and we want more staff, I guess. So, 
I'm going to needlessly just do stuff to get the hospital level up. So, um, first of all, I'm going to turn off this hygiene map because it's killing me. And then, oh, we can upgrade the easy scan to be more effective. Oh, right, right, right. In the new general, the vague diagnosis. Yep, do it. All right. So, for example, this ward, it doesn't need this at all. Um, but I can just throw one in here because I have this huge empty place. Right? And then we can just put it there. That is almost going to level us up in and of itself. And then I'll just copy this pan slab and install another one over here for, for just no good reason. So that we can get three stars. And congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a three-star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. Being recognized as a first-class establishment is always an accomplishment to be celebrated. Yes, it is. May your festivities be righteous but brief, then get back to work. All right, so we got 30,000 cash, 200 kudosh, and we got the extract to pan level three. All right, so awesome. Now, one thing I want to do uh, is just unpause the game and see how we do. Yep. Uh, so we didn't even need to, like, you know, go off the rails and, and develop all of these buildings to get all of our goals. We've done it. We have 845 kudosh. We're profitable at this location. We need more staff, of course, uh, to start filling out everything that we have. But we'll get there, and it's not necessary at this moment because we have beaten this. So what we're going to do is actually click back on this, and now Lower Bullocks is done. Three stars. We got a career goal that we can pick up, which is upgrade five machines, and we got 100 kudosh just from doing that. And then if we zoom out, we can see the next hospital that they want us to think about, which is Flottering. Learn about staff development and training. And this is actually great because, you know, they kept saying you get another slot and you can train your people. And I was like, I don't know how to do any of the stuff that they're talking about, but we get to do it in Flottering. And that's super exciting. So we're going to learn more about the game. And we will get into that next time. Everyone... I want to say thank you so much for watching. I think this is a good place to end the episode. We'll start a new episode clean with fluttering and begin from the beginning and learn all we can as we get more kudosh and hopefully get more rugs in the shape of food. Thank you everyone for all your tips. I'll check you guys next time. Take care.